Yup, yup, yup. It's Friday, y'all. <laughs> and I know what y'all here for. It's the free giveaway. It's do's and don'ts, but it's the free giveaway. The most important thing. Me to give to y'all. How y'all give to me. I appreciate it so much. So, this week, we're going to go with Dallas Goddard, man. How many yards receiving would Dallas Goddard have against the New Orleans Saints? To me, he need more targets, especially more targets than he got last week. Looked like Garner Mitchell's going to be the quarterback. So whoever hits it on the head comes closest. You will get a uh, Philly Fresh hoodie or, or Yoda hoodie, whatever you, whatever you want. But if I get 50 comments, yes, a hat will be in there. I got buckets. I got skellies. You know it's getting cold out. Whatever... Whatever you choose after you win, though. So comment below. Dallas Goddard, how many receiving yards? Let's talk about it, y'all. Yo, that. A. G. L. E. S. Eagles. Eagles. Say fly, Eagles, fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. <laughs>
So to me, I don't, to me, that's not Jonathan Gannon. To me, sending Hassan Reddick, I give you Hassan Reddick, sending Hassan Reddick. But these defensive linemen, in the waves that you have, there's so many guys that you can put in there, the bodies that you can put in there, it's easy. But you have to be more constructive. This is another dude. You have to be more constructive with sending these blitzes. Now, when Avante Maddox was there, he was sending blitzes. Avante Maddox uh, 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 sack Deck Prescott, and that was a crazy sack. Crazy sack. I loved it. But once he went out, I don't know. But you got C.J. Gardner, hopefully, is going to play, and it looked like he is going to play. So use him. That's a do. Utilize him. This is a don't. Miles Sanders, Gardner Mitchell. It looked like you might play because Jalen Hurts. We just heard he's been doubtful. We heard he's doubtful. And to me, I think this is the best situation. If Gardner Mitchell can't beat the Saints, Gardner Mitchell doesn't deserve a job starting in the NFL. So he has to prove, this is a do, he has to prove that he can beat a NFL team. Now, yes, you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dallas on four turnovers, and it's a lot of things that you should have beat them. I get that. I understand it. You threw for over 300 yards. But the simple fact of the matter is when palms get itchy and, and when things get tight, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And to me, you got to make these certain plays, and this is what Jalen Hurts has been doing all year. Even if it's with his legs or with his arms, he did it both ways. But you have a chance, Garner Mitchell, to clinch for the Philadelphia Eagles, the number one seed in the NFC East in one game. At home. Don't think the, blue, the, the, the boo birds won't come out on you and they will boo you off the field. Boo you off the field. And to me, even though Jalen Hurst is doubtful, and I get I understand it. I don't know if you're playing mind games with the Saints, uh, Nick Sirianni and them, but I still would dress him because if this dude is booty juice, you, you Minshew has to win this game. And if he's in a situation to where he, he's not, nah, you got to put Jalen Hurts in. You got to put Jalen Hurts in at the half. At the, I don't, I don't care. If it's, if it's looking like he's going to fold under pressure, put Jell in there just to win the game. Because so much can happen if you win this game. You get to rest people for two weeks. Two weeks. We don't care about the Giants. The Giants win. I don't put them against the, the, the third string, the fourth string people off the streets. Put them against me. I don't care. But when on Sunday, one o'clock, when on Sunday, 1 o'clock, this is the most important thing right now. Lock down everything, and then you can rest dudes. But if you don't do that, I'm, I'm not saying you're in a world of trouble, but you don't want your back against the wall, against the Giants. Take care of business right now. And the reason, and the thing how you do that, this is another do. You have to stop. The two best players, and that is Taysom Hill and, and um, Alvin Kamara. You got to stop their running game. You got to stop they, they they little trick plays that they do. Jonathan Gannon, your head got to be on the swivel. You got to make sure that these guys are prepared for anything and any time. Because they're going to throw the kitchen zinc at you. They're going to throw it. Can you catch it? Can you catch it? Then we went against a way better team in Dallas, put up put up 34 points. Well, one of them uh, was a defensive play, but this is John Vigano we're talking to, so shout out to him for that. Shout out to Josh Sweat. You have to lock things up this week. Just lock it up. And then we're going to be talking it's going to be a bye. People can rest. Jalen Hurts comes back. Lane Johnson comes back. We don't know what's going to happen with Avante Maddox. 
out indefinitely. I've seen people out indefinitely and only be out two weeks. They put indefinitely because they don't know exactly how long. But you got C.J. Gardner coming back. You still got this wave of defensive linemen. And it should be no way that you lose to the Saints. But I'm going to be watching. Trust me. I'm going to be calm, man. You already know, man. Let me know how you feel. Are you confident that we can win? That Garner Minshew can bring home a dub against the New Orleans Saints, who we have to be anyway, just just to have a better position in the um in the, in, the, in the 2023 draft? Or are you worried? Are you saying no? Jalen Hurts needs to play no matter what. To me, get the job done. Y'all already know, man. Stay Philly, stay fresh, y'all. Yoda! Stay Philly, stay fresh.